Hello there, my name is Drew and welcome to my vampire playthrough episode number 23 where today we're planning to tackle the ghoul diggers I don't know if I'll, I think I gotta cross the bridge to get to that it's the one thing I've been avoiding for a bit but I run out of side quests. I don't want to return to this area of town. So I'm sure I may have to, but maybe, maybe not. I guess we'll find out. And I think I've just gone full circle. See the reason I don't want to. Okay. There we go. Now I'm getting to the right place. This is despicable. Just a rat, dude. You're just eating rats. They do it in here and undilute. Okay. Moving on. So, so far I've healed everyone. I believe I've peacefully settled most things. Now, I think it's time to take the bridge across. I think this ghoul place, or the, yeah, the ghoul diggers. It's going to be across the bridge, get through southward. Well, we'll find out if we get there today or not. Keep going up. Believe I'm doing this. You should stop saying that. You'll probably be doing it a lot more. And jump. Yes. Nice. And have I been here? Maybe. I have this thirst for blood. This is despicable. You'll get used to it. Rats in acquired taste. Okay. So. Then down some stairs. Yep. Turn around, sir. This one's mine! I'll take it! It's too strong! He does it. Hey, sweet. I thought I knocked him into the water. <clears throat> Getting a little better at the combat.
still got mine. Aim of the driver special. Get them weapons ready. We found one. Watch it. It's a killer. Yes, it is. This one's mine. The leech has cleaned. Oh, it worked. Suck it, dude. What? No, that's not what I wanted. There it is. And. Only one. Eight screws. You're carrying around eight screws. Maybe? I don't think it's the right way, but I'll give it a try. Wow. Try it off. I like, is this where I started? <clears throat> uh, oh, they are over by the pit. Okay. Yeah, this is totally the starting area. I think I like just took a dive. So how do I get up there? This place. Rain may have washed away the blood, but not the memory. My poor Mary. Yeah. Yeah. It is tragic. We just went to her funeral. Give you two shillings if you don't go in that thing. <laughs> uh, come on. Okay. This is my watch. Damn grave robbers. Dude. Hello, boys. The last one to turn your mission to the corpses in Southwark. I'll only say it once. Deal with it. And be glad I don't report your protested Wiener. She might go there herself to cut your balls off. <clears throat> Word also told me you made a few jokes about what I saw by the pier. So now I'm just a loony scared by his own shadow, or a nutcase who mumbles and trembles like an old woman about ghost stories. Good. I like it when my boys are happy. Be assured that nutcase will come piss on your bloody carcasses after you to the fucking monster I saw has sucked your brains out. Enjoy the following night, fellas. I heard they'd be foggy and raining. Booth. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. That dude is a psycho. Like, oh, crazy, am I? I'm gonna piss on your fucking corpse. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't really want to go the long way around. I can't believe I'm doing this. Are you kidding? Edwina. She scares me more than the rest. Of 
back across the bridge. Oh, this one was friggin' easy. What'd they do? Ah, they stole from the wrong corpse. I can't believe I'm amused at it every time I do. Let's go this way. What's this? Rivet? Three rivets? I don't know what rivets are. Large box of pills. That I'm gonna recycle. Box. Rusty box of pills. Tiny box of pills. Um Oh, I've got grease and springs and screws galore. Because I want to see your piss Good on evening, that dude's corpse. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? I managed <clears throat> to reach the mass grave in Southwark. It was not pleasant. Spare me the details, Dr. Reed. All I want to know is what yeah, happened to those like bastards who owed me money. Um, the grave diggers are I'm dead. I'm afraid those bastards, as you call them, are in the mass grave. Dead? Shit. That money would have been useful. Well, I'll tell my boys to avoid the place if it's that dangerous. Yes. Everybody should avoid that place until further notice. Okay then, Doctor. It looks like you deserve your reward after all. The wet boot boys thank you for your help. Sweet. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, Give me good I'll show stuff. you all I have. Give me good stuff. You don't have any good stuff. Eh. We should have listened to what the idiot had to say first. Well, that's neat. <clears throat> Where am I going? Man, I'm going to have all these freaking custom markers on there. Wait, wait, what is this? New dialogue, new dialogue. Yeah, let's head back to the hospital. Best be lively! It's on to us! Ready, boys! Oh, Christ, he's he's got dead. one of them here! Ah. Over there! There's one of them burning! Pretend to run for it. Oh, you bastard.
solved. Yeah, it only came in groups of three, so that's not too bad. Look lively! It's on to us! It's one of them! Oh my god! Ah! That second slash. Take his gun, resell that thing. Over there! There's one of them infernish! I wasn't First. going for the rat that time, but I got it anyways, which is cool. That time I was going for the rat. I can't believe I'm doing this. <clears throat> can't believe I'm eating rat. I cannot enter. Thanks for the warning, dude. The hell? No, there is loot. Some screws. I think I'm going to get the monopoly on screws, man. Going to Finsbury Gate. I'm going back to the hospital. <clears throat> I think I need to go this way. Good evening. Eve. Ha! Huh? Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. Dangerous. I'm certain you have your reasons, but let me assure you, I'm not like other doctors you may have consulted with. Uh, it is true. You risked your life to save me, after all. It would be impolite to refuse your counsel. Recovering. Perfect. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Okay, quick checkup of people in the district. Healed, healthy, healthy, recovering. Here, talk to Ashby. Still standing after this other day. You, my friend. This shot Good evening, you told me. Good evening, Doctor. Awesome. Still trying to save lives. Of course. 
I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. Oh. Oh, sweet. And now... Because I burned through these things. Okay. Ashby is... Out here. As always. It is good to see you no again, Jonathan. Dialogue options. How are you? I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Dr. Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital caused by skulls. Really? What do you mean? There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? Just what I said. If Sean Hampton and Harriet were not the guilty parties, then who? I saw the bodies and the blood. Your rebirth has not gone unnoticed, Jonathan. Be extremely careful. If you get in the way of an immortal's plans... Are you threatening me? Do you suspect someone? I don't know, Jonathan. I steer clear of vampire politics, especially whilst hunters roam the city's streets. Yeah, wise choice. Yeah. I discovered the most intriguing skull. An elderly woman answering to the name of Old Bridget, and a man who helps them remain hidden in London. Old Bridget? Peculiar name. I've never heard of her. According to old Bridget, skulls can lead a peaceful existence like us. Interesting. They are even able to nourish themselves by feeding on corpses and the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, let's change the subject. Okay. Goodbye for now, my lady. <laughs> Perhaps I should have considered the offer from that Cadigan fellow. Just a dozen years old. Okay, Swansea, what you get to say before I go do some upgrades? Uh, this way. Jonathan, at last. I've been worried <coughs> sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news indeed. Okay. What do you know of the Ascalon Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. Huh. Interesting. I crossed paths with one. A terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He was sent by the Ascalon Club to exterminate the Skulls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. If vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then dark times are upon us. Darker than I've ever witnessed. Hmm. Do you think Lady Ashbury would know of them? You just asked her. Jonathan, our beloved lady is not one for social dalliances, nor the assemblies of dark orders. She's a woman of superior taste and selective acquaintance. Uh-huh. Sounds like you got a thing for her. Does the name <clears throat> Old Bridget ring any bells? I never heard of her. Why? A patient of ours? I must confess, I don't know them all. No, it's just someone I recently met. A fascinating woman. Fascinating, yeah. I had thought that perhaps... By the stole, Jonathan, you've met another vampire. <laughs> I would appreciate an introduction, if that's the case. Yeah, that's not an option. I found Sorry. Harriet Jones. She's much the same old, embittered woman she was, <laughs> only she's been made a scowl. Her transformation did not go well. 
Incredible. Why not bring her here? We could learn so much by studying her condition. It would be fascinating. Um... Were there any studies made by your order on the subject? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I will transmit your discovery to the Brotherhood's primate. He will be delighted. What? Yeah. I doubt that. She can barely move. Perhaps we could learn more about the degeneration of skulls. Perhaps. But she could also belong to a new species. We know so little of the laws that dictate vampire reproduction. Bow chicka bow wow. A pleasure as always, Edgar. Bye, Edgar. Bye, Eddie. Okay, so next up, upgrades. <clears throat> I will figure out how to water dying. this plant. It needs water. Okay. I have enough. I'll take another migraine treatment. Let's see. Do I want to upgrade this? Three rounds in quick succession, and not really. The shotgun, like. That's all my trigger parts. From 360 to really blasting motherfuckers. Oh. Okay. And my hacksaw. Eh. Used up all my good handle parts. But you used up all my good handle parts. Okay. Um, Increase damage dealt. Switch to chemicals. White phosphorus. <clears throat> to chemical damage just used against human, best used against beast and vampires, or just straight up ten percent more damage. Wait, did I not? Oh, I haven't done those yet. Hells yeah. The shotgun's gonna be a lot. Dude! Five ribbits. Ooh, ooh. So I can break down that mirror, get three ribbits. But still, 749. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to a close. We will go ahead, uh, I'll pick up next time, do the, spend some blood points, upgrade that. And because it sleeps when I do, I will uh, then go ahead and see what the consequences of my actions were. Well, my name is True. Thank you for watching.